Monday, June 21st, 2010. I met Satan on a hill. From my book, His Grace. Satan and I were walking along, talking. I instantly recognized him. He had dark hair and rugged features. He was of normal weight and height. He took me by surprise. I couldn't understand what he was doing out here in this field, but I thought I'd like to take this opportunity to learn what I could from him. I felt somewhat uncomfortable and we kept our distance. In previous times that I had met him, he seemed angry and bitter at me, but not this time. He seemed almost sad. He never really looked at me, but I continually looked at him while we walked. Unfortunately, I can't remember a lot of what we talked about, but what I do remember was important. We climbed this large hill towards some kind of building. Just as we got to the top, I realized it was a friend's house. They were having a prayer meeting. I was curious to see what would happen if I brought Satan inside to meet all the Christians. He knew what I was doing and went along with it. I was going to use this opportunity for my learning. We went into the house and down into the basement where the meeting was being held. A large group of the people sat around the outside of the room. They began to stand up as we entered the room. I did not know what to introduce him as, so I called him my friend. I watched the body language of every single person as they came up and shook his hand and to see if they could recognize him. Not one of them did. They seemed gloriously happy to meet him as if he were their best friend. I was kind of stunned by this and not one could see the darkness in him. I began to realize what I was being shown. Each of these people had more of the attributes of Satan than they did of God. Each of these people was under a delusion because of their deep association with the world. Satan knew what I was thinking at that moment. I could tell as he began to study me. I watched the people. I could see inside each of them and all of their sins. Each one of them screamed of selfishness and self-centeredness. They loved the things of the world and they hated their neighbors. They had never removed themselves from the world and never learned to walk in the kingdom. In the kingdom of God, man runs to serve other men. In the kingdom of Satan, man demands to be served by others. I was repulsed by their selfishness. I was disheartened by what I saw. I had read the book of Revelation, and in the end I knew God will win, though he will only save a remnant. Satan and I proceeded to leave the room. We went upstairs and outside. The people were leaving at the same time, and I noticed them carrying their big Bibles under their arms. I felt stupid as I watched this, knowing that Satan was winning, and he knew it. He didn't seem cocky about the whole thing, though. As we walked a little further, I looked down, and I noticed Satan had cloven hooves. In fact, from the waist down, he appeared to be some kind of goat. I realized this transformation seemed to have happened while he was gathered with the Christians, but I didn't know why. As I looked at him, I suddenly saw him from God's point of view, and I knew how much the Father loved him. Unknowingly, I had been taught to hate him. I saw him more like a prodigal son who was separated from his father. That great wall was up between him and God, and reconciliation seemed possible. For some strange reason, I stopped and embraced him. I felt like I was embracing an icy snowman. He didn't lift up his arms to embrace me back. I asked him, Do you ever think you could be close to God again? Don't you know how much he loves you? Satan responded with, It's too much for you to understand. I turned and began to walk again. He was silent and had that sad look again. Everywhere we walked, I stared at him, but he just looked straight ahead. We stopped at one point, and I said to him, God brought this divine appointment to me to learn from you. I think he wants me to write a book about you. Do you think we can do this again? Satan responded, I think so. With that, he just casually walked away. I watched him from behind as he casually walked over the rough terrain with its cloven hooves holding him steady. I wondered if the cloven hooves Satan had transformed while he was in the presence of the goat-like Christians.